Hi there, this is Jennifer with Brome Fields, and today we're going to be working on the curvy eyelet of lace knit stitch. And I'm using Lion Brand Woolies Thick and Quick Yarn, so it's a super bulky, and I feel like it's the easiest one to um, give you guys an example uh, whenever I do a swatch and knit it up. So you really get a good, uh, you see the definition of it so um, you don't have to use a super bulky yarn i am using size 13 knitting needles with this um, i think i'm knitting a little bit tighter than i used to because i usually use a size 11. Um, i think i've changed up my style over the years so um, i knit this one with a size 13 and i did a repeat i did three repeats um, and it's a 10 row repeat. All of the wrong side rows are the same, so that does make it easier. And then on the pattern, I will have like a checklist um, on the page also, so that for me, I like highlight each row as I'm doing them so that I make sure that I'm on the right row. Um, I'm just not real good with uh, having to pay attention in a pattern. Uh, so that's why I like my simple and basic stuff, but this is a really pretty stitch. So I very much enjoyed this. Now it does, if you notice here, it has a little bit of, um, it has two purl stitches on either side. So you can do repeats if you want to uh, do it uh, like a blanket, but you only want to do two. You don't want to have two and then four purl stitches and then four on four. So you'll, you will want to put a border on it. I do recommend that. And I think a, um, a garter stitch border would look really nice with this. All right, so I don't have anything started, so I'm gonna start with casting on so we can just work on this together. All right, so we're gonna cast on 13 stitches. So, and I'm just doing, using the long tail cast on method. It's really my go-to method. You can use whatever method you like. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and then. I always double check. Um, all right, so row one is the row we're going to become very familiar with because we do it every other row. So this is our, the wrong side of our work. So I like row one to be the wrong side because this here, uh, whenever you're doing the long tail cast on method, has a nice pretty kind of knit look to it versus this side, which has the bumps for the pearl. So then whenever you're looking at the finished one here, so this is the right side and that is the wrong side and it just kind of blends together. So I like my row one to be the wrong side. All right, so get all tangled up already. So row one, we're gonna start out with a knit two, purl four, knit one, purl four, and then knit two. And it's easy because they're all just knits and pearls. And then we're gonna go to row two. Now row two and row four are exactly the same. Um, so, but I will go ahead and do it with you guys and you can follow along so that you can just be knitting and listening while I am going through the rows. So I am on row two right side and we're gonna purl these first two stitches and then we're gonna knit one 
yarn over, knit one, and then we're going to knit two together. This is our right leaning decrease. So we did an increase and a decrease, and then we're going to purl this stitch, and then we're going to slip knit past stitch over. So we're going to slip this next stitch as if to knit. So instead of slipping it purl wise, we're going to slip it knit wise. So we're going to go in as if to knit, but we're just going to slip it onto our right hand needle. And then we're going to knit that second stitch. And then we're going to pass that slipped stitch over our knitted stitch. And that creates a left leaning decrease. And then we're going to knit one, yarn over, knit one. So we're going to knit one, yarn over, knit one, and then purl these last two stitches. All right, so now we are ready for row three. And I'm keeping track on my laptop over here of what row I'm on. All right, so we're going to knit the first two. Purl four, one, two, three, four, knit one, purl four, one, two, three, four, and knit two. All right, not too bad so far. Now row four, exactly the same as two. However, I don't have it memorized. Um, I don't know if I, I would have it memorized. Uh, let's purl two. So the first two stitches and last two stitches are kind of our, um, our border on this. So we're purl two, knit one, yarn over, knit one, knit two together. So we're going to go in from the front without splitting the stitches. Knit two together. We're going to purl one and then we're going to slip um, knit pass. So we're going to slip as if to knit, knit that second stitch, and then pass the first one over the second one for a left leaning decrease. Knit one, yarn over, knit one, and then purl two. All right, so now we are ready for row five. So we're going to knit these first two stitches. Purl four, one, two, three, four, knit one, Purl four, one, two, three, four, and then knit two. All right, now we are ready for row six. We're going to purl two, knit two. Knit two together, yarn over, purl one, yarn over, and we're going to slip knit wise, knit one, pass the slipped stitch over, knit two, purl two, purl one, purl two. Alrighty, row seven. See, we're trucking right along. So we're going to knit the first two stitches. Purl four, one, two, three, four, knit one, purl four, one, two, three, four, and knit two, one, and two. Row eight. We're almost done. So we're going to purl two, knit one, 
and then we're going to knit two together. So we keep bringing this further to the right. So we knit two together, yarn over, knit one, purl one, knit one, yarn over, slip as if to knit, knit one, pass the slipped stitch over, and then knit one, and purl two, purl one, and two. Now we are ready for row nine. So we're going to knit the first two stitches. Purl four, one, two, three, four. Knit one, purl four, one, two, three, four. Knit two, one, and two. Now we are ready for row 10. And we will purl the first two, one and two. Then we're going to knit two together because we're still bringing that right leaning. It's not a cable twist over to the right. And then we're going to yarn over, knit two, purl one, knit two, yarn over, slip as if to knit, knit one, pass the slipped stitch over, and then purl your last two stitches and repeat with row one. So on here, you notice that this center uh, stitch is always a purl on your right side of your work. So it's always a knit stitch on the wrong side. So you can tell that there's like two panels. So you have your two knit, four purl, knit, four purl, and two. So it's, they're mirrored, which makes it very easy to see and to kind of make sense of the pattern, but this is the first repeat. And then that way you can see this here is going to add on. So you kind of start in the middle. Um, so you have that and then it gets wider and then it starts again here in the center. So it overlaps. Um, this is a really pretty uh, panel, I think. I let stitch. I really like it. And would probably look better in a worsted weight yarn or even less, but um, I'm, I'm not a super fan of the uh, thinner yarns because it, it hurts my hands. Um, but I think that they're absolutely gorgeous. I love those uh, shawls that are knit with fingering lace, but... Um, I stick with what I can do. So, um, oh yes, one other thing I wanted to make sure that I told you is that every row, so we start with 13 stitches, every row, ha every right side row has two increases and two decreases. So you should always have 13 at the beginning and end of your row, you should have 13 stitches on your needle. So that way, if you count and you're off by one, you have one too many or one too few, just go back the row before or two rows um, if you notice it after you do your wrong side row. And then um, just redo that row. So it's really pretty easy whenever you make a mistake to notice it pretty quick, one, and that way you're only going back two rows um, to correct your mistake if you want to. Um, yeah, that's a debate for a different day. <laughs> um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this new stitch and I'm not sure what I want to make with this, but I think this would be a really pretty, um, blanket and uh, yeah, cause if you put them side by side and then you have maybe a wider, um, you could even do a garter stitch in between and then have a garter stitch border. So that would be really pretty also. 
Um, this, I could see this also being a headband in a worsted weight yarn for spring, summer, which is coming up. Um, so anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.